you start talking about buzz bait fishing, there's a lot of ways to rig them. And, and, and I'm often asked, what's my favorite setup for a buzz bait? Well, no one really makes one that I like, so I make kind of make my own. I take a 3 8 head and I put a half ounce blade on it. I upsize the wire a little bit. The heavier the wire, the louder the squeak. I'm the guy that always started putting the S-bend in the wire. That's old school. But trailers have kind of evolved, you know, and then, and then out come the horny toad, and it's horny toad on a buzzer, horny toad on a buzzer. Well, let me tell you something. You'll need to get a prescription of Xanax because you're going to miss so many on it or lose so many on that. So after many trials and tribulations, I've settled in on what I feel like is the best buzz bait trailer out there. For me, I hardly ever throw a buzz bait with a skirt on it. You'll be surprised how little I throw a trailer hook on one simply because it seems to be more aggravation than it's worth. So here's a Zoom, a Z Crawl Jr. This is like a green pumpkin blue swirl. This is a buzz bait, just see plain old bait, got nothing fancy on there, not even a great, doesn't have a wire keep or anything down. All I do with this right here, so like the water, if the water was a little dirty, I could put the blue side down, okay? That's what we're looking right here. Gunner's a little dirty, so you watch me. I'll just kind of thread it on. Real nice and easy. You want to thread it on down there a pretty good ways because you're going to want it to push up on the hook. All right. When I get it right there, I'll just take a touch of super glue, put it right there where the skirt would normally sit. Just, I mean, it doesn't take much. Just a dab or two. Push this up on there. And I'm telling you, folks, it's good for all day, every day throwing. You catch tons of fish on it unless you break one of the, the, the flappers off you'll be good so to me the ultimate bait buzz bait setup white white green black you got it there's my top secret buzz bait setup now y'all know the juice all right let's talk line you know a lot of confusion about line on buzz bait fishing so i'm going to add to you've seen my setup the bait that i throw the kind of the rod and reel i throw i use i use like a seven foot three medium heavy rod right now it's an arc rod it's, uh, it's not super heavy, man. It's almost like a, what you would consider a great spinnerbait rod. I always throw it on like, this is a lose. Uh, this is a six, eight to one, a gear ratio. That's it. No seven threes to one, no 97s to one, no 600s to ones. I'm not racing, I'm bass fishing. Six, eight to one. I don't throw braid. Braid is picking a fight in the street. You're gonna miss a few. You gonna it, it, You may catch one or two on it, but fishing braid on a buzz bait to me is a disaster. I fish one, the same size line everywhere I go across the country. 18 pound shooter fluorocarbon on a buzz bait. All the way back to when I won AOI in 2016, I caught two seven pounders that year on a buzz bait in competition and both on 18 pound test. And I'll swing them in the boat. You know, 18 to me is the perfect line size. It's got great strength. It's a uh, low diameter, so I can really spool it, throw it a long way. If I want to throw all the way down this grass back here, I can make a long cast. So 18 pound shooters where I've settled in and that's a lot of trial and tribulation. Seven, three medium heavy rod, lose BB1, six, eight, one reel. Doesn't get any finer, it's a smooth combination. Yeah, you could throw 20. You could throw 25 if you was down at Falcon or somewhere. But to me, 18's the consistent feel across the board, long cast. So that's what I'm looking for. So now you got it, you know all G-Man's secret on this buzz bait. And I'm about to go put this bad boy to work.